Hi there, my name is Josh and today I want to talk about how to apply a texture to a curved surface in SketchUp. You can see here I've got this JPEG image file of a wine label and I want to toss that on the wine bottle here in my SketchUp model. Let's cruise over there and take a look. Uh, the first thing I want to do is get into the correct context before I import anything. So what I mean by that is I'm going to grab the select tool and double click into the edit mode for this wine bottle component. And if I select once more, click once more there, you can see that now I've got the more complex surface selected of this entire wine bottle. Uh, but I really want to isolate just the part here with the label. So to do that, I need to reveal the hidden geometry. If I go to view, hidden geometry, I can do that. This is a good thing to map to a keyboard shortcut. I use this one quite a bit. So view hidden geometry, I can now click on a single face or a single polygon there. Uh, and now this is what I want because I want to apply my image file right to this face in SketchUp. So I can now go to File Import, click on the image file that I want there, and uh, note that it's nice to have all supported image types selected here. That'll make all your image files easily selectable. And then Use as Texture is really important. You want to make sure this is selected for this um, mapping of a texture onto a curved surface. So Use as Texture is an important step. Alright, so now the image file is kind of hanging on to our cursor there. We need to uh, choose an anchor point here. So I'm going to click on the bottom corner of that face in SketchUp and then a second time click on the upper bounds of that. And it looks a little bit odd at first because it's kind of cutting that off. Uh, it's only applying it to that one face, but that's what we want. Because now I can use the paint bucket tool to sample it and apply it to the rest of these uh, slivers or rectangles that should hold this image file. So when I click on the paint bucket tool, you'll notice that the materials browser pops up and you can see our image file in there as well. That's in the in model category here. And then in the bottom left, notice that SketchUp is letting us know that there's a keyboard modifier for this tool, for this paint bucket tool. Command is our sample material modifier. If you're on the Windows version of SketchUp, that'll be the Alt key. Uh, so if I hold down Command, you'll see that the icon changes to an eyedropper. So I'm going to keep that held down, click here to sample that texture, and then apply it to the adjacent face. So I can cruise down the line there. Turn off hidden geometry. Take a look. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I want to show that again in a different context here in our model. Let's cruise over to a curved wall that I have. And this is a uh, concave situation here. And of course, the first thing I want to do is get into the correct context. So with the select tool, I'm going to double click to get into this wall group. I'm going to double click again because I've isolated this curved section a little bit further. And uh, let's now go to View, Hidden Geometry. And I want to apply this. I've got a mural that I found online, a, an image of a mural that I want to apply to this curved wall section. So now I can go to File, Import. And there's the image file I'm looking for. Use as texture. That's good. Import. First click is the bottom anchor point. And for my second click, I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller so I can show you how easy it is to adjust the size even after you place it that initial time. So now I need to clearly uh, scale this up a little bit. Uh, all I have to do is right click, go to texture, position, and uh, I usually uh, like to make sure that the the four grips here on the tiling image are kind of in the middle. Um, and then the green grip or the green pin here is what I want to use to scale this image. So I'm going to first just click and drag, get that in the bottom corner there of my wall. And then as I scale this up, I'm going to keep my eye on the upper bounds of this material swatch here so that it lines up with the geometry there. Alright, looks pretty good. Right click, done. And I'm going to sample this now and actually turn off hidden geometry. I want to show you what happens if I don't have hidden geometry turned on here and I try to apply this texture to the curved surface all at once. Uh, sometimes it may may work, depends on what you're doing, uh, but usually uh, SketchUp doesn't quite know exactly how you want that image to tile across a, a larger surface. So in this case we've got a, a seam right there. 
Uh, so to control this better, uh, that's where we need view hidden geometry activated to reveal the polygon breakdown here. I'm going to undo that step so I'm back to this point. And now I'm going to sample this and apply it just like with the wine label. Uh, sometimes it may not work, it may not uh, tile as you wish, so uh, the way that I always do this to make sure that it does is when I sample this one and apply it to the adjacent face, I just keep doing that. So sample, apply, sample, apply with that keyboard modifier. Turn off hidden geometry. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. Uh, there's certainly uh, a little more to talk about in terms of using textures on curved surfaces in SketchUp, so stay tuned for another skill builder that we have that will talk about the projected option when adding a texture to a curved surface. So thanks for watching. Cheers.